Today let's beat some more bosses with the Z Saber, the Gold Armor Edition. I'm assuming you've already got the Gold Armor and the Z Saber. Good for you. I'm going to show you how to do a really fast 100% boss rush with this gear. There are ways to do this even faster than I'm showing here, but this ought to help get you started if you're thinking about X3 100%. You're going to see some things today that might be new to you. First is Neon Jumps, which is basically an air jump that you perform after you do an air dash. If you Neon Jump while you're using Hyper C, you can get away with using less Hyper C energy than you ordinarily would. And a third tactic is when you weapon swap right before you saber slash. This again saves you hyper C energy and lets you run bosses faster because you're managing your energy levels. Saving your energy and taking strategic hits means you can switch off the weapon and still use it again when you switch back. Enough talk, let's go! Step one, get your neon jump on the left wall. Step two, do it again. <laughs> We've consumed four bars of energy. We're in great shape for the next fight. There are two bosses that are actually faster to fight with their weaknesses instead of the Saber. Using Frost Shield on Toxic Seahorse is a really fast way to get through and refill your Hyper C. This is a super fun fight. Full of cheat codes, check this out. Now, if you ended up using too much Hyper C, here's another way that you can get a little bit back. By changing when you hit, you can leave him with a little bit of health and get some more Hyper C. Okay, we're gonna Hyper C Neon jump off the left wall. Take a couple hits, we're refilling the meter here. No big deal. All right, then we're gonna charge right back up while we're getting our beam back. We got him. Tunnel Rhino, what do you think the strat's gonna be here? And we charge up just like we've been doing. Get our meter back. And we win. Volt Catfish descends into the arena, unaware that he's about to get Hyper C, Neon Jumped, ooh! And there is a little trick you can do where you can eliminate the first shot in the sequence by running into the enemy. That's the first time that worked, so I'm glad you got to see it. So for every boss fight up until this one, it's been pretty much the same strat on repeat. Well, for Blizzard Buffalo, it's exactly the same strat. So we're gonna do this again, avoid him, because we don't want to get hit by the freeze ray, and then you slap him. Saber slap. All right, so the strat for Doppler is to dash, get behind his head, counter attack, and slap him with the saber. Okay, so for the final Sigma battles, go into the room, carrying a nice saber charge. You're gonna need this for the first battle. So we just head bonk Captain America Sigma a little bit, and then head bonk him again, and he's gone. Big old battle body Sigma is not hard to beat, but he's hard to beat fast. Patience is key, but neon jumps are better. And there you have it.